What's up guys, today I will be teaching you how to get stream overlays for your Beat Saber gameplays, which provides information on the song that you're currently playing. Not only does this work for streaming, but normal recordings as well, which is what I use since I don't stream. All links mentioned in this video will be down below in the description. Let's go. First, you need to have Mod Assistant installed as well as OBS Studio, which is what I use for all my recordings on my PC and it is free. Links are in the description, but if you already have those, then you will just open Mod Assistant. Go to the Mods tab, under Stream Tools, check mark HTTP status, and press Install or Update. Once that is done, you will click Mod Info while having that specific mod highlighted. It will take you to a GitHub page revealing more details, but just scroll down and click on Custom Stream Overlays. There are a few of them to choose from, but I like the one from Resilum. We go into it and you can read the instructions, but that's what I am here for. Click on the Beat Saber HTTP status plugin link, go to the latest version and download the zip file. Open it and extract the files onto your desktop. Go back to Mod Assistant, Options tab, and Open Folder. This will open up the Beat Saber folder if you set up the correct file path during the Mod Assistant installation. Go to Beat Saber Data and into the Manage folder. Open up the extracted Beat Saber Data folder, Manage, and grab the WebSocket file and transfer it over. Now do the same process with plugins by opening it and dropping the file over. Now open up OBS and create a scene. Right click to rename it so you know which one has the overlay. Next add a source whether that be window capture or display capture. Window capture enables you to catch a specific program running which would be Beat Saber, while display capture is basically what it sounds like. I prefer display capture. Open up Beat Saber, play a song and pause it which I just press into the left analog stick of my left hand controller. Back to OBS. Next. Add a browser, which it will ask for a URL. Originally, we would go back to the GitHub page and copy the URL that's there, but the URL is wrong. They changed it and didn't update the page. The correct URL will be in the description. For width and height, match to your canvas size, so I have a 4K display, so I just enter that. Check mark custom frame rate and control audio and set the FPS to what your recording settings are, which mine is 60. Check mark shutdown source when not visible, so whenever you're not playing a song, the overlay won't be on your menu or song selection. Lastly, check the refresh browser when the scene is active. If the overlay is still small, then right click on the browser, edit transform, and up the size from there to your actual canvas size. You can reference the modifiers on the GitHub page to move it around, but I will have them pre-modified in the description that you can copy over. Go to Settings, Output Recording, Output Mode Advanced, and fill in where you want your recording to be saved in the recording path. Choose your recording format, have one audio track checked, and choose the encoder that is available to you. When it comes to the right quality control settings, there are many variables you need to think about. It will take too long to explain the right settings, but there's a bunch of in-depth OBS tutorials you can check out that will explain everything. But the last thing I will note is in the video tab, you match the base resolution to your display and output to what size you want it to be finally recorded at. Leave it at Laxos 36 samples and choose your FPS. Now that you have stream overlays, you can show your viewers all the details about the song you're playing, but why stop there? Get creative. View my custom avatars and Camera Plus combined video to showcase your avatar at different angles or if you are a streamer wanting to stream Beat Saber and have the Twitch chat in-game, well I have the video just for you. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Follow me on Twitter to always know when I'll be uploading my next video and be sure to check out the Beat Saber modding group Discord for any additional outside mods and or assistance. My name is The Legionnaire and have a wonderful day my Beat Saber champions, peace out.